once again i welcome you all in the name of yeshua amashiak last time we saw uh, vowels i'll just take revision of all the vowels that we studied last time uh, we studied uh, a class vowel that is pathak it gives a sound in bat then second a class vowel is comets comets gives long a sound in father then comet say is the further long uh, a class vowel it gives a sound in kana and you can watch the transliteration uh, for pathak over a circumflex is towards downward for comets over a there is a bar and for comets hey circumflex is towards upward then segal a sound in bet this is the e class vowel sere again a long a sound in bere sere yor gives further long sound in second red color e that is bere then we saw i class vowel that is sirek it gives a uh, uh, dot i sound in bit then hirek yod it is a long vowel and it gives a long sound in machine actually it gives e sound in bit and machine e sound in bit is small whereas in machine it is long then we saw holum over consonant if you give a dot that is called holum it gives a long o sound in oat then holum vowel uses a consonant vowel in its formation and it gives a long o sound in board then comet satuf actually this comets this comets is similar to the a class vowel comets but it gives actually a short o sound because the condition for that uh, to how to recognize this is not a comets but comets satuf is the syllable should be closed and unaccented so what is the meaning of closed and un unaccented syllable we are going to learn in chapter 3 and 4 then we saw kibbutz kibbutz is a u class vowel it is a short vowel it gives a o sound in put oh, sorry u u sound in put and shurek it is also it involves a consonant vowel in its formation it is a long vowel and it gives u sound long u sound in musar okay so let's learn one more vowel that is called sheva everyone say sheva 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 okay sheva is nothing but a uh, two dots that is that we put under any consonant that is called sheva in transliteration it is a uh, actually it is a half vowel and it it gives a short a short very short sound of segal segal now you know the segal gives a sound so it is a very short a sound for example here belt belt so that a sound is a very short so also in the beginning uh, god created the heavens and the earth so in that also the first word starts with shiva that is be bereshit bereshit
So let's uh, learn this five vowels. This this three vowels. Now, under any consonant, if we put this two horizontal dot, these two dots are called Sheva. Now, this Shiva, it can be silent or it can be vocal. When it is vocal, it gives a short segol sound. A quick, I can say a quick, quick segol sound. Now you know that segol gives a sound. So this, in this, this E sound is nothing but a Sheva sound. Now, for example, in this is the first word of the Bible. The first word of the Bible that is called Bereshit. Everyone say Bereshit. Bereshit. Bereshit means in the beginning. Now this first word starts with Shiva. So actually sound of this is a e it is a superlinear e the shiva is a superlinear e it is a very short segol sound it use a sound a very short a sound be bereshit so when it is silent when shiva is silent when it has to be pronounced and when it has not to be pronounced that we are going to see in uh, chapter 4. That is a separate chapter on silent Shiva and vocal Shiva. So in that chapter, we are going to see that. Now, I, I wanted to uh, take three more vowels. That three vowels are nothing but they are called a compound Shiva. Compound Shiva. Now, there are three compound Shiva or it is also uh, called composite Shiva. Compound Shiva or composite Shiva. First composite Shiva is 
Patrick Pathak. Second composite Shiva is Khatip Segal. And third compound Shiva is Khatip Comets. Now, this Khatip Pathak, actually it gives a short A sound, that is A. Then Khatip Segal, it gives, actually it is a high class vowel. And third is Khatip Comets, it gives a O class vowel. I, I want you to understand these three compounds Shiva very carefully because these are the three Shivas, three compound Shiva which guttural prefers. There are five letters which are called gutturals. The first one is Aleph. Second one is He. Third one is Kher. Fourth one is Ain. And the fifth one is Resh. These are the five letters which are called gutturals. Why they are called gutturals? Because their sound is from throat. Aleph, you will feel the sound coming out of throat when you pronounce these five letters. Hey, the air is blowing. Heth. Ein. Resh. So you'll feel that sound coming out of the throat. So these five letters are called guttural. And these three Shiva, shiva. it is guttural prefers this compound Shiva. How to write it? How these vowels are written? I will tell you. Under Aleph, I will write Shiva first and then Pathak. So Shiva plus Pathak makes a Khatip Pathak. Khatip means half. Half of Pathak. Then Khatip Segal is Shiva plus Segal. Shiva plus Segal is Khatip Segal. And Khatip Comets is Shiva plus Comets. Shiva plus Comets, it gives a Khatip Comets. Now, you need to remember the sound. Khatip Pathak gives a sound. Khatip Segal is an I class vowel. And you know that we have seen in machine E. It, it actually gives a E sound. And Khatip Comets, it gives a O sound. Or I may say this Khatip Segal, it gives a, a A sound, A. For example, I'll give all three examples so that you'll understand. Can anyone read this?
read this first one. Yeah, this is Adonai. Adonai means master. Second one, this is Elohim. Elohim means God. And third one, this is Onia. Onia means ship. So you can see the sound. Katak Pathak gives Adonai a short A sound. Katak Segal gives Elohim a short A sound. And Katak Comets Onia it gives a O sound. And this guttural always prefer these three compound Shiva. Any doubts regarding this three Shiva? Once again, Skatip Pathak, a short A sound, a sound in Kaboom. Skatip Segal, actually it gives a short I sound, E, actually sound is E in Elohim, Dividend. And Skatip Comets, it gives a short O sound in Confirm. Or the example I have shown you, Onia. Now, pattern of this, all these uh, vowels we have learned is Hirek, Sere, Segal, Pathak, Kamets, Holam, Holam Wow. Shurek Kibbutz. If you see this triangle, Thirek, Sere, Thegol, Pathak, from rounding of your mouth, the pattern of your mouth changes to the widening of your mouth. Till you reach to Kibbutz, Kibbutz, the mouth is widened. So it it shows the palate structure or the mouth rounding to widening. Then these are the five consonants which involves in formation of the vowels. First one is comets hey. Second one is holum O class vowel. Shurek U class vowel, Sere Yod E class vowel, and Hirek Yod I class vowel. So these are the five vowels which gives, uh, which involves consonant in its formation. Okay. Already last time I shown all these things to you. Now. Let's start uh, reading this long vowel and short vowel. Start from here. Under Dalit, this is uh, Hirek Yod. So how will you pronounce this? Yeah, now you can start your video and unmute yourself and Start saying these vowels. How to pronounce this? 
क्या लाउडली डी एवरी वन से डी डी ओके अंडर गीमेल देर इज अ कामिट्स हाउ यू प्रोनाउंस दिस गा एवरी वन से गा टेन अंडर मेम फिर एक योर इज देर हाउ यू प्रोनाउंस दिस मी मी देन अंडर बेथ Sere is there. How will you pronounce this? Be. 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 Okay. Under Dalit, Kamets is there. How will you pronounce this? Da. 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 Then under K Kaf, this Sere Yod is there. How will you pronounce this? से के 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 अंडर पे पे इज देयर हाउ यू प्रोनाउंस दिस देन ओवर कोफ होलम इज देयर How do you pronounce this? Co. Co. Sound is K. It is transliterated as Q, but sound is K. So it is Co. Everyone say Co. Co. Then under Rish comments. Ra. How do you pronounce this? Ra. Ra. Under wow, comets. Wa. Wa. After Zain, Shurik. How do you pronounce this? Wa. Zoo. Under Teth, Sereyo. How do you pronounce this? Te. And after Yod, Shurik is there. You. 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 Okay. So. now i uh, request all of you to unmute yourself unmute and start your video and look at here uh, at screen hmm? look, look at the screen and look at me and try to pronounce after me say the first vowel d d ga ga unmute everyone unmute me 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 be be then da da ke ke then this is pu Ko, ko, ra, ra, wa, wa, zu, zu, te, 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 you, you. Very good. So you need to uh, practice it. 
डि गा मी बे दा के को को रा वा जू ते यू देन देर आर वन मोर थिंग्स दिस वन मोर स्लाइड इज देर लॉन्ग वॉवल नाउ टेल मी अंडर खेत देर इज अरे योर हाउ यू प्रोनाउंस दिस खी खी वेरी गुड खी एवरी वन से खी खी देन आफ्टर लामेद होलम इज देर लो लो देन अंडर नून कामेट्स इज देर हाउ यू प्रोनाउंस दिस ना ना अंडर टे सॉरी टेथ सेरे इज देर टे टे then under fe over fe holum is there so how do you oh. huh ho oh. ho oh. very good if there is dot then it is po but without dot it is fo oh. okay under sare there is direct yod how do you pronounce this c c c, c. 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 Actually, Sade gives T S sound, and here it is the I class vowel. So T is a silent, and it gives a C. Actually, it is S sound giving C. Mm. Then under Samik, there is a comet. Sa. Sa. Then under Resh, here it is your. V. Re, sa re, then under wet, comets is there. Wa, wa, wa. Then under calf, sere yod is there. K, 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 k. After tau, shurik is there. Two, two, over gimel, holam is there. Go, go, and under dalit, comets is there. Da, 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 da. da. Okay, now unmute everyone. I request unmute and say after me. Key. Key. Lo, lo, na, na, te, te, ho, ho, si, si, sa, sa, ri, ri, wa, wa, ke, ke, tu, tu. Go, go, da, da. Okay. These are all uh, long vowel. Now let's learn short vowel. Under pe there is a segal. So how do you pronounce this? Pe. Pe. Then under he. There is a pathak. Ha. Ha. Pathak gives ha sound. So it is ha. Under bet, here it is there. It will be. Yeah, you're in your mind saying correct. Just say it. B. It is B. B. Under Dalit, Hirak. D. D. Very good. Under Teth, a kibbutz. Two. 
टू अंडर सामिक सेगोल से अंडर पे पैथेक पे पै पै देन अंडर टेप्थ सेगोल टे देन अंडर कोफ हिरेक की की के आय की देन अंडर साडे सुरेक सु अंडर वाव पैथेक वै अंडर जाइन पैथेक जै now remember the difference between comets and pathak comets gives a sound whereas pathak gives a sound then under tenth segol te and under sin pathak Yes, anyone? Sa. 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 Yeah, under calf, pathak. Sa. Kya. 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 Under lamet, pathak. Le. Le. Yeah. The noon hirek. Ni. Ni. Then under me, men, kibbutz. Mu. Mu. Under dalat kibbutz. Do. Do. Then under tau, pathak. No call. Yes. Yes. Ta. Ta. Then under resh pathak. Ra. 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 Under vet segol. Ve. Ve. Under gimel segol. Okay. Okay. Under khet pathak. Khet. Khai. 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 Then under ayn segol. A. A. Ayn is a silent letter, so it will follow the vowel. Vowel gives, segol gives a sound, so it is a. Similarly, alef, alef is a silent letter. It will follow the vowel sound, which is under it, so it will also a. Then under he, he puts who, and under noon, irek ni ni. Okay. Now uh, repeat after me. Unmute yourself and repeat after me. Pay. Ah. Ah. D. D. C. C. Two. Two. Pay. 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 P. सु
กแกแล้วดอนนอซีคอมเมนต์ if it is there then it will give la but pathic is there then it will give a sound that is la 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 the different between comets and pathic again and again I am telling you comets use a sound whereas pathic gives a sound in bat so whenever there is pathic it gives a sound so it is under la me it is la ni la มูดูดูแตแตรแตเวเกเกแคแคเอวีวีเอหูหูนี่โอเค so next time again we are going to do the practice of long and short vowel and we are going to learn one syllable and two syllable words for example <coughs> anyone try the first word over here this Tut. one yeah Tut. this is uh, Dalit. Oh, dud. Dud. Dod. 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 Okay. Dod. Um, actually, the Hebrew word dod means uncle, or dod means beloved. Dod means uh, in Israel, na Havivi. Havivi means uh, uh, loved one. So. That is called uh, dod. It also means uncle. So read this one. Taf. Taf. Small child. Taf. Kid. Then read the next one. Av, everyone say av. 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 Actually, in Hebrew, av means father. So Yeshua, Jesus, used to call uh, Yahweh Elohim Avi. Avi means my father. During prayer, he used to call Avi, my father. So we are going to learn next time this one syllable word, two syllable word, and three syllable word, and also this long and short vowels. But today I think it will be too much for you. Correct? <laughs> Or you want me to take? Continue. No, na. <laughs> I am ready to teach three hours, no problem. But you should grasp. Okay. So I I request you to uh, learn long vowel, short vowel, all the vowels which are taught. Mm -hmm. uh, go through the recording and even through a workbook. Learn the sound, learn the consonant sound and vowel vowel sound. See, just in third or fourth lecture, you are starting reading Hebrew words. Correct. Now you are starting reading Hebrew words, na? No? You read today Av, you read, read today Taf. Uh, so unless and until you know the vowels, consonant and vowels, you will not be able to read the Hebrew words. And unless and until you know the Hebrew words, you not speak them. So it is very important to learn the basic foundation. That is a building block of Hebrew language. That is consonant and vowels. So on again and again, uh, start practicing the short vowels, long vowel. It is already there. The all these vowels, short vowels, long vowel. It is there in your workbook. So starts 
pronouncing it during this week. Uh, so next week when I'll take, it will you will find it very easy. So yeah, God bless you.